This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the Chat GPT API. So yesterday there was this announcement from OpenAI that Chat GPT and Whisper models are now available on their API. So uh, developers can get access and they can develop applications. So I thought let us try it out. So here is the Chat completion API documentation. Okay. So the model used over here is GPT 3.5 Turbo and it is as simple as this code where we call this particular uh, method open uh, openai.chatcompletion.create and you have a model which is GPT 3.5 Turbo right and then you have messages so if you look at the message there is a role okay and here it is system and then there is content. So you are instructing chat GPT or this particular model to be a helpful assistant over here. That is the content. Then there is the role which is user and there is content. So this is the user query. Okay. So this messages object uh, is it must be an array of message objects where each object has either a role system or user or assistant. Okay. So the first system is nothing but instruction. Assistant is what is the response produced by the chat GPT uh, or chatbot over here. Okay. So let's go to the demo. It's very simple. I, I'm using Google Collab over here. You need to install OpenAI. Okay. You need to store your OpenAI API key in a JSON file or you can directly specify over here. So what I've done is I have stored it in a JSON file. Okay. So let me start from here. Right. So then I set the open API key over here, right? And then all I do is this, okay? So for the first uh, query, which I want to ask is that, uh, I do response is equal to open AI dot chat completion dot create model is GPT 3.5 turbo. And in the messages I have role system, say I'm uh, asking the model to be a helpful assistant. And the query I'm asking is what is SVM? Okay, so let me run this is very fast actually now let's see the response so if you see this is the response object which has been generated okay so if you see over here within the first choices object you have this content so this is the response which is coming from chat gpt okay or the chatbot model and here the role is assistant and then uh, details are there about tokens and other things so it is as simple as this particular call now what can you do with it okay so what you can do is you can extract this message right which is what i'm displaying over here okay right and then what i'm doing is i want this to continue right so i am creating a messages object okay and i've already asked what is svm and i've got this response so i take this response object okay i just take this particular from the response this message object okay I take this message, this particular entry, right, dictionary entry. And what I do is that I just append it to the pre-existing messages over here. Okay. So that is what I'm doing over here. So here I've appended it, right. And I'm adding an additional query over here saying that, you know, what is the math behind SVM? So this is my next query. Okay, so I'm again appending it over here, right? Now, if you were to look at, uh, you know, messages, right? See, this is how my messages looks like. So the initial, what is SVM? I got the response for that. Okay, then I say role assistant, right? And then I, uh, this is from whatever the response which I got from chat GPT, right? From the model. Then I add the following follow-up query role user content what is the math behind svm okay this is my messages array of uh, objects now okay so this one now i again call open a dot chat completion dot create i call this model gpt 3.5 turbo messages equal to messages okay now let's look at the response so this is the response which has been generated the math behind SVM can be quite complex, but here is a brief overview of how SVM works and it gives the text. Okay. So if you have a front end, you can make this API calls 
uh, by appending the messages from the previous response and then you have this uh, new response coming up from the chat GPT. So you can actually simulate the chat GPT uh, basically a chatbot, not simulate, basically create a chatbot. Okay. So if you want to create a chatbot like this, all you can do is that while true, basically I'm creating a loop over here, text is equal to input, message is role. Okay. Uh, this is from user, right? So the role is user and content is this particular input text. Okay. Then I can say messages dot append this message. Okay. So what is the assumption over here? I have already, I have created this particular messages. Okay. Object. Okay. Where I have added these things, role system, role user content. Okay. Assuming that this is not created, then the first step is to create a messages object with this role system content. You are a helpful assistant. Okay. And then you uh, create this particular role user and you take the input text and you append that message to the messages object. But since we have already had messages object over here, I have not added that over here. Then send that messages object to openai.chatcompletion.create. Basically you are, uh, uh, what do you call, API call and print the response outside. Append this response, continue in the loop. Let's see how it looks like, right? So here is the thing. So it is asking for the input. So because I was asking about SVM, I will ask like, what are some applications of SVM in image processing? Okay. Actually running, see it has retrieved basically. It has generated this output and it says that for image classification, we can use this, this, this. Okay. So let me change the question, but what kind of features can be extracted from images? From images for image classification. Okay. So yeah, so here is the question which I asked. And here are the outputs. Now I'll ask like, how can these features, these features be fed into a SVM? Let's see what comes up. Okay. It is running this response. And then it says that choice of features to be extracted depends on the specific applications, swipe of images, classifier features extracted from images can be used as input to the algorithm. So it is kind of continuing this, right? So can you show me code for image classification using SVM? Let's see what it's generated. Yeah, so it basically shows the code over here, right? Uh, for a particular data set. So you can actually continue like this. Basically you can create your chatbots like this, right? And uh, if you have access to say Google search API, or you can um, say, if you can pull out uh, scrape results from websites, you can add that as part of your uh, uh, response over here, right? And you can send it to the system to simulate something like a web chat GPT. So a lot of options are available now. So here is a cost for uh, chat GPT API basically. So that is $0.002 for every 1K tokens. So this is the cost for uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. So this was a short video on um, chat GPT API, basically the chat API uh, from OpenAI. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be sharing this particular uh, collab notebook in the description of the video. Do check out. See you in another video.